Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here for my six week postpartum update. Before we hop into today's video, if you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. I am Morgan. I make a lot of this mom cell content here on my channel, along with like day in the life videos and basically like what's going on in my life as a mom, a working mom of two kiddos. That is what I share with you guys here on my channel. I, again, I have a daughter named Kaya who's three and a half and I have a son named Riker who is six weeks old. As you can see, I am sitting in the kids' room today. I am just kind of trying to get a feel for this room. I've already revealed this room to you guys. I'll leave a link for that video right here for you guys so you can take a peek at this room. This is one of my favorite rooms in the house. But I'm just I'm sitting in here today and as I'm sitting here, I'm already planning like what I'm going to do with the walls. But I'm planning like a secret project um, that I want to reveal to you guys after it's done. But I will give you a hint and it is something with their walls. Alright, well, I had the oh so enjoyable six week postpartum checkup today. And I am very happy to say that everything is a-okay. Everything is right on point of where it should be. Just to recap, Mr. Riker did not cause any major tearing. In fact, on my chart they left me as intact, although there was just a tiniest little tear on my urethra from um, delivery. But really, it was a super great recovery, and again, they like left me as intact on my chart. No stitches required, anything like that. Basically, just like a rug burn. Let's hop into how I have been feeling. You guys know that here on my channel, I'm super real, super raw, authentic, just basically tell you exactly what I'm feeling, exactly what's on my mind. And first and foremost, I'm going to tell you guys that this postpartum has overall just been completely different than my last postpartum experience. This time I would say um, the two major differences have been that A, I lost all of my pregnancy weight almost immediately and I'm now down to my pre-pregnancy size. Um, in fact, I'm below that. And the second thing I would say about this postpartum experience has been that I have experienced much more um, postpartum anxiety. I've said this before, but that is totally okay. Postpartum anxiety and depression are so common. I chatted a little bit with my OBGYN today and just kind of told him that I was feeling a lot of anxiousness but at this point, it is improving. I didn't feel that I needed to seek any sort of help. So, all right, I've got Kaya with me. I'm sorry if it's super distracting, but um, I am here alone with both of the kiddos right now. So she's just gonna lay with me. My postpartum anxiety has been, it's just about small things. So like coming and going, leaving the house has been a really big deal for me, um, exposing him to the outside world. As you guys know, I had him in the middle of cold and flu season, like right in that like peak, uh, right at that peak time in January, February. Um, I had him February 9th. So I was even warned leaving the hospital to stay home and kind of create myself a little bubble and to um, screen who's going in and out of the house, making sure that my daughter who goes to preschool, make sure that she's hand sanitizing every single time she comes or goes. Oh my goodness, it was, it was a lot. Now that the temperatures are getting warmer and the great white tundra here in Minnesota is finally defrosting, I feel a little bit more comfortable with um, bringing him out in public and um, having other people hold him. I do do the psychotic like hand sanitizer thing every single time somebody holds my baby. But, and I'm the one who's ultimately in charge of him and in charge of his health and I would never want to jeopardize his health in any way. Another postpartum anxiety thing for me has been going back to work this time. So I've got one more week of maternity leave after this week. So I have eight weeks of maternity leave. I go back on the 8th of April and I'm feeling much more comfortable with it this week and I'm much more ready to get back into my routine. But if you would have asked me a week ago if I was ready, I would have started bawling and would have told you no. I would say last but not least with the anxiety has been in relation to my body. So I, again, yes, I did lose all of my pregnancy weight and I am below my pre-pregnancy weight. I'm a curvier woman and I always have been, but for some reason right now I'm feeling much less comfortable in my skin than I normally do. Even though I am below my pre-pregnancy weight, I don't know what's going on. I'm just, 
I feel out of sorts and I'm just trying to like get to know me again and get to know my body again. I feel that now that I've been cleared for all activities and exercises after today that I'm going to feel much more like myself and once I can start working out again, I'll really feel more comfortable with my body. Um, I just I feel a little bit like loose and flabby and uh, with the weather warming up, I'm feeling a little bit anxious about getting myself into shorter sleeves and um, shorter like shorts. <laughs> I'm like not ready for shorts. I've been living in leggings and actually I have experimented with some cute um, like destroyed jeggings, but I am not ready for short season. I'm not ready for a swimsuit season whatsoever. So that definitely has um, like played into my postpartum anxiety as well. Now, in relation to the postpartum body and the clothing and spring and summer coming up, I do have a clothing haul coming up for you guys. Now, the first one is going to be more like transitional, so like spring weather clothing. For us here in Minnesota, that still means like sweaters and cardigans because, I mean, we might get like the random stray 60 degree day. It's like a steady 40 degree weather stretch, sometimes 50s, and like I said, the rare occasional 60 degree day. So I'm going to show you guys what I have gotten for my postpartum body for the spring here in Minnesota. I have started to collect a few things for like summertime as well, um, and I will be doing a swimsuit, postpartum swimsuit haul. Being curvier, this makes me very nervous. I know so many other women and moms out there who have asked me where I personally get my swimsuits being curvier um, or even while I was pregnant and I do have a couple favorite um, boutiques that I shop at that I want to share with you guys as well because I feel that even though I am a little uncomfortable with my body right now that these certain shot or these certain swimsuits just hide most of my flaws and I can feel like somewhat sexy getting back onto the beach this summer so stay tuned for those postpartum clothing haul updates I'm really excited to share those with you as well as my weight loss updates so again Weighed in today, I am well below my pre-pregnancy weight, makes me very excited, but I do have a ways to go. I'm a curvier woman and I just wanna get back into a normal healthy BMI and in order to do that, I've got like a good 65 pounds to lose. I'm putting myself out there, making myself very vulnerable by telling you this in this video, but with sharing that and being a little bit more vulnerable to you guys, I'm really hoping that I'm able to keep myself accountable and also to inspire you other mamas out there because let's face it, postpartum and weight loss and being a woman in general are all really hard things. Now that I've gone to my little tangent there, everything else looks really good today. I'm really excited to get back to my elliptical training and um, starting some like lighter weight lifting. I, I'm just like ready in general to get to know me again. It's been almost an entire year of being pregnant and postpartum and now I'm nursing. I just, I really need to get to know me, get to know my body again, get to know my body while breastfeeding. These are all um, hurdles and things that I look forward to, um, look forward to facing here in the next little near future. Anyways, I'm feeling super great and I feel like I'm doing pretty good as well. All right, the last thing that I wanna to touch on today is like my bleeding, the care, like how I'm feeling down there, things like that. I am doing really well according to my doctor and I'm feeling really great. Um, I had a little bit of a scare today and I don't wanna get like too in depth because I've already made this video like 16 minutes long, um, but I just wanna like get in real quick. So I had my regular check like at the beginning of this pregnancy and um, my pap came back as abnormal. And long story short, basically this abnormal pap was um, reevaluated and seen as normal, but today for some reason they ended up bringing that up to me again that I had an abnormal pap at the beginning of my pregnancy and for some reason I didn't remember it. Um, I think because um, it just got shoved to the back of my mind. I was pregnant. I had a baby to think of. I had other things to worry about. So I completely forgot about this abnormal path that I had at the beginning of the pregnancy. Um, thank goodness my OB came in and he said, you know what? No, we don't need to reevaluate today because actually when we dug into it deeper last time I can see here on the notes that um, it was ruled as normal actually. I had a little bit of a scare there today. 
but I'm happy that it was normal. Um, again, I don't know why they even brought it up to me, but um, everything looks good there. I had my IUD placed. So getting into my IUD, I had an IUD before I had before I got pregnant with Riker, I had an IUD placed right after I had my daughter Kai. I had my IUD removed the fall before I conceived Riker. So I had my IUD out for a while and then I had just been on the pill up until I conceived. So um, I have had great experiences with Marina. The only side effect that I am not a huge fan of is the fact that you bleed for the first little while. Um, and I believe I even bled for like probably three, the first three months after getting my marina placed. But I have never had any weight gain issues, any hormonal issues. This is one of the best choices for when you're breastfeeding, which is why I chose it. Again, I'm not a medical professional in any way, but I just like to share my experiences with you guys and tell you what I have personally loved. And I have personally loved my IUD, my marina. It's been an incredible experience last time oh. and I am looking forward to my experience with my Marina this time. All right, you guys, I am going to leave you there. I have a baby crying downstairs and I need to give him some booby milk, as Kaya would call it. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy my updates here. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave and click that little bell notification so that you guys are alerted every single time that I upload a video. Leave a comment down below with which videos you're looking forward to in the future and I will see you guys on Friday for a really fun video. Okay, bye you guys. All right, this is my postpartum pooch. This is what I am looking forward to getting rid of. But overall, I am very happy with my body. But overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, yeah, but stay tuned for the rest of my weight loss journey. All right, you guys.